Hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is the third part of our series on deploying java spring boot microservices on an aws eks cluster in the last two videos we covered build our microservices and push the images to ecr using github actions in the second video we covered deployed those microservices on eks cluster using helm in today's video we will take it one step further we are going to try eks auto mode the new feature introduced by aws and deploy our microservices on that cluster so the agenda for today's video is we'll deploy the existing microservices on eks auto mode cluster we will understand the configuration changes required for helm we will use the same template that we have created in the previous video and see what changes are required and we'll see how ingress and load balancer settings have changed in eks auto mode before we begin make sure you have an eks auto mode cluster up and running and if you have not set up that i have already covered that in my previous videos where i explained how to create eks auto mode cluster manually and also using through terraform just a quick tip for you if you have clone my github repositories then inside this terraform folder I have already this code auto mode that you can use it and create an EKS cluster and currently I am using the same workflow and you can see that it is running So now I have connected to that EKS cluster just update my cube config details so here you can see name EKS auto mode and now we will just install the application before we install that i just wanted to show you what has changed so if i open my visual studio so all the same template files remains the same there is no changes i am using the same chart but if you go to the values file so if i have created this and we go to this hello the only thing that has changed is ingress so here you can see i am not providing any other annotations related to the alb the thing that i am providing is class name and this class name is the one that we have created while creating an eks cluster so i can show you the code of auto mode for creating those ingress class so here you can see that i am creating this ingress class params using this name and providing the load balancer details here because this is what has changed in eks auto mode and the ingress class where you are providing this and the annotation for the group name so that it uses the same load balancer for all the three microservices so this is the change that has been done for that eks auto mode let me show you from the documentation perspective also so if you go to the documentation and go to this eks auto mode and there is a section called ingress class so here you can see that in ingress class params now you are providing this scheme like related to your alb that's what we did and the group name and the another part you can see that you cannot use annotations on an ingress class to configure load balancers with eks auto mode so that what has changed with this eks auto mode and in ingress annotation you can see that this group name not supported it specify groups in ingress class only so that is what we did in the terraform when we have created this cluster here you can see now from the deployment perspective when you go to this spring boot and go to these values file the only thing you are providing the class name so that is the only change from the helm perspective that happens with this eks auto mode now we will just run all the three microservices and validate if they are working or not so let me go there and just run these commands so here you can see that i have ran both the 
all the three microservices using the same command and using the different values file. So you can see the hello is running now, the client is running and the word is also running. So all three of them is running. Now the next part that we will check is kubectl get ingress. Just see how does that look like. So here you can see this is how they look like. All are using the same load balancer, no change there. So this is with the EKS auto mode cluster, no more changes. Simple configuration related to the ingress that you have to change, but not a major change. So what we have learned, we learned about EKS auto mode changes. We updated the Helm configurations to use ingress class params and we deployed our microservices on EKS auto mode and verified the inter-service communication. So this concludes our series on deploying microservices on an AWS EKS cluster. Throughout this series, we covered everything from building, pushing and deploying microservices to configuring ALB ingress and using Helm for deployments and all while exploring both standard EKS and EKS auto mode. I hope this series helped you understand the complete end-to-end -end deployment process. Thank you.